Good evening and welcome on this fourth week of Advent. Tonight we come to an end of our midweek Advent devotions. Our reading for this evening is Psalm 80 verses 1 through 7 and 17 through 19. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us the scorn of our neighbors, our enemies laugh among ourselves. Restore us, O God of hosts, let your face shine that we may be saved. But let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life and we will call on your name. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Let us pray. Lord God, you so tend the vine you plant it that now it extends its branches throughout the world. Keep us in Christ as branches on the vine that grafted firmly in your love we may show the whole world your great power and bear the fruit of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. This is it. We are in the final stretch of the holiday countdown. The cookies have been baked, the presents are wrapped, the houses are decorated, the holiday meals planned and perhaps even prepped. Or maybe those things are not completed and as what usually happens in our household, you're still running around frantically trying to complete everything before the big day arrives. We have reached the end of our Advent journey and maybe you're relieved. During a time when we already have so much on our plates, adding a few moments every week to pause and reflect upon God's word was just one more thing to do, one more way in which we were called to put on a happy face and push through. Because while this time is the most wonderful time of the year, for some of us, it can also be the most painful time of the year. It is the time of the year when all the losses and struggles we've endured come starkly into view. How can I celebrate gathering with family when the ones I love are no longer with me? How can I celebrate the fantastic feasts some will partake in while I struggle to put daily meals on my table? How can I celebrate joy when my whole life is nothing but pain? The psalm that we heard today seems to go against everything this season should be. We want it to be upbeat and happy, giving praise to God for all that God has done for us. Instead, it is a lament to God for all that has befallen the community. And even as the psalmist lifts, lifts up the power and majesty of God, we cannot ignore the fact that God is absent to the people. The psalmist is remembering God's past deeds, but is now wondering where exactly God has gone. So this psalm is a deep lament for the trials and tribulations of life and a desperate call to God to be present once again in the people's lives. During this time of year, we are told that lament is to be pushed aside. It makes us uncomfortable to mourn in a time when we are told to be merry and bright so we push our feelings that God has abandoned us aside, put on a brave face and muddle through somehow. But here, in these words, the psalmist gives us permission to mourn. With these words, we are reminded that we do not have to put on a brave face when it comes to talking to God. Because even in the midst of life's darkest moments, God is still present with us loving us, supporting us, and blessing us. As this Advent season comes to an end and our Christmas celebrations begin to happen, it is okay for us to not be okay during this time. And we can share that feeling with God who, rather than condemn us for not celebrating, will weep with us as we weep and will mourn with us as we mourn. 
this week. Give yourself time and the grace to sit in whatever pain or sorrow you might be feeling. And know that as you do, God has been with you. God is with you and God will continue to be with you in Advent, in Christmas, and throughout every day of our lives. Amen. in Jesus and who holds the grace of the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever amen go in peace Christ is near thanks be to God will weep with us as we weep and will mourn with us as we mourn this week give yourself some time hold and on just a second um, back, back up a few seconds Okay. Okay. Sorry, that that's okay. That's okay. No, that's fine.